Audi TT Coupe, 8J, was introduced in 2005 at the Tokyo Motor Show. In addition to visual changes to the exterior and interior, the Audi Magnetic Ride Adaptive Damping System, available as an option, was also introduced to this car for the first time. In addition, the new TT uses ASF, Audi Space Frame, a material combination of aluminum and steel, to make the car lighter. A 2.0-liter, 8 and 3 in line, 4-cylinder, turbocharged engine with 147 kilowatts, 200 horsepower, and a 3.2-liter, BHE, V-shaped 6-cylinder, with 184 kilowatts, 250 horsepower, were also on sale. With both are equipped with S-Tronic, formerly DSG, dual clutch. Based on the first, a newly developed 1.8-liter TFSI with 118 kilowatts, 160 horsepower, was introduced in spring 2008. A model with a 2.0-liter diesel engine with 125 kilowatts, 170 horsepower, also appeared. In 1998, the appearance of the Audi TT Coupe made a splash. Its aerodynamically slick body attracted close attention even from those who were not particularly interested in cars, and outwardly, it is still quite relevant today. The second generation of the model was greeted noticeably calmer, although the sports coupe has become more solid in appearance and significantly larger than its predecessor, and the design is not as extravagant as before. This car has changed a lot technically. Its body is almost 70% aluminum alloy, however. The doors and trunk lid remain metal for the sake of a more correct weight distribution along the axis. The rear suspension is now independent, the front-wheel drive versions on the predecessor were torsion beams. Initially, only petrol engines were offered for the Audi TT, 2.0L, 200 horsepower, and V6 3.2L, 250 horsepower. Moreover, with the base engine, the Tateshka was front-wheel drive, and with the V6, with the Quattro transmission, the scheme of which is the same as on the Audi AZ, with the Haldex multiplate clutch in the rear wheel drive. By the way, the engine of the TT, like that of the 3 ruble note, is located transversely, and in an all-wheel drive transmission, under normal conditions, 15% of the torque is supplied to the rear axle. However, the clutch can close open completely, transferring back up to 100% of thrust. The car was sold as a coupe and roadster, which debuted for five months. Later, as for the Audi TT package, the standard includes a leather interior, power accessories, heated front seats, bi-xenon headlights, four airbags, climate control, and a CD radio. Options included an Estronic transmission, magnetic ride electronically controlled dampers with variable stiffness, an Audi Symphony audio system with CD changer, cruise control, and adaptive headlights. So, mechanics speak only positively about the Audi TT, and the car is still young. Nevertheless, we managed to find shortcomings. For example, it is reliably known that the most massive 2.0 TFSI engine is an oil-eating champion. After 100,000 kilometers, he needs 7001000G per 1,000 kilometers. If the replacement of the oil separator in the ventilation system of crankcase gases, 6,000 rubles, and valve stem seals does not save, you will have to change the piston rings, 3,200 rubles. Russian gasoline quickly wears out candles, 560 rubles each, and ignition coils, 1300 rubles each. Injection nozzles can also fail, 5500 rubles each. The timing belt is also at risk, the condition of which after three years of operation is desirable to be checked at each MOT. If it breaks, you will have to pay from 30,000 rubles for the repair of the blockhead. MCPs do not cause problems. You don't even need to change the oil in them if you follow the manufacturer's instructions. But the S-Tronic transmission, an analog of the Volkswagen DSG, can spoil the mood. In traffic jams, she tends to twitch from first to second gear. Closer to 100,000, it may be necessary to replace the clutches, from 50,000 rubles, and the dual-mass flywheel, from 30,000 rubles. The service life of suspension parts depends on the driving style. True. The steering rack may become unusable ahead of time, from 40,000 rubles. Body. It is indifferent to corrosion, because it is not for nothing that most of its parts are made of aluminum alloy. True, the external chrome-plated elements of the case quickly rust. In winter, after washing, the rear spoiler often grabs and it stops retracting. Engine. The most popular powertrain is the 2.0-liter turbocharged petrol. 
it is characterized by increased oil appetite and requires periodic inspection of the timing belt. This belt drives the exhaust camshaft, from which the intake camshaft is driven by a chain. It is desirable to control its condition at each MOT or after 15,000 km of run. Otherwise, repair or replacement of the cylinder head will be required, from 70,000 rubles. Transmission The six-speed Estronic has problems and they are traditional. This jerking when switching from first to second gear, rapid wear of the clutch kit, 60,000 rubles, and a dual-mass flywheel, from 30,000 rubles. In the front suspension, almost all parts are made of aluminum alloy, but this fact did not affect the durability of its elements at all. Even racks, 1300 rubles each, and bushings, 500 rubles each, of the stabilizer can withstand approximately 70,000 to 100,000 kilometers. The rear suspension has an aluminum alloy subframe, but all the arms remain steel, while bearings usually withstand 100,000 kilometers.